at Homestead. Guess where I am? I am in Richard's dining room. And if you guys didn't see my last video, Richard is my editor and I'm working on a full apartment makeover for him. And here he is. So this is Richard if you guys didn't see the last Hi. video. We're gonna be tackling the dining room and I am so excited because I have a lot of fun plans for this space. And I feel like once we get the dining room done, it's gonna really mesh with the living room and everything is really gonna start coming together. So what are some of the things that you want in this space? Well, honestly, I just need a table and chairs. <laughs> <laughs> There's not, this is a really small yeah. room that we're in. It doesn't, it's not gonna fit a whole lot of stuff, but I know curtains are a priority oh, for you. Oh, yes, curtains. Curtains for sure. The ones that are in here are sheer and he wants some added privacy in here. So we're gonna be doing some blackout curtains. We need a table, chair, maybe some bar stools, a little bit of artwork. It's gonna be really super cute in here. Cute's what you're going for, right? <laughs> it's gonna be so cool! So without further ado, let's get started. One of the most popular design tricks when you're working with a small space is to add a mirror. Mirrors are gonna help reflect light in the room and they are also going to make a small room feel a lot bigger than it actually is. So that brings me to tell you guys about today's sponsor, which is New Type Chic. Your home is a reflection of your unique style and personality and New Type Chic is committed to helping you create your dream home by providing a variety of designs that are high quality and super affordable. New Type Chic offers various kinds of mirrors from rectangular, arched, round, irregular, and even LED mirrors. And shopping on their website is so easy. You can shop mirrors by room, shape, size, and color. And behind me here, I have the Italia full-length mirror in black. It's 71 by 32 inches, and it is just absolutely stunning. I love how chic it looks, and the thin black trim offers a modern design, which is perfect for our space. New Type Chic has mirrors that will fit any decor style, so I'm sure that you will find your perfect mirror with them, and I will leave a link in the description below so you can check them out, and be sure to use my code KYLIE15 to receive 15% off your order. So now that we have our mirror, which I love so much in this space, some of the things I'm thinking is a round table, a round rug, I'm thinking maybe we need some art print, like something there maybe, and something over on this wall. Um, new curtains, these ones here that are, they're 84 inch and we're gonna take them up to the ceiling so they're at least um, that 95 inch, kind of make the room feel a little bit taller. His ceilings are really tall, but anything to draw your eye up is always a good thing. And then also I think he needs some bar stools right here as well. It is cold in my garage today, my goodness, but I am excited to be out here working on a furniture makeover for Richard's apartment. So we're working on the dining room, of course, so he needs a dining table. And I found this super cute dining table on OfferUp for only $20. It was basically free, I couldn't believe it. I feel like I have a superpower. My superpower is shopping on OfferUp for really nice furniture, cheaply priced. That is my superpower. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there, but I'm excited to see this table come back to life. It needs some work for sure. I'm not sure what the heck they sealed this table with or what they did to it. The person did put in the description that they knew nothing about refinishing furniture and they had attempted to refinish the top of it. And so I don't know what they did to this thing, but we're gonna try to sand it down. I'm gonna paint the legs on it black. Um, I think that will really fit the vibe of his apartment. And then of course I'm gonna restain the top, but the top is veneer. So I'm very nervous to try to be sanding through whatever weird sealant thing, whatever product they used to try to get down to the veneer and sand that. I just don't know how it's gonna go. I might need to go buy a heat gun if it's not working out for me, but we're gonna see how it goes. I'm excited to see it come back to life. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Two seconds in and I went through the veneer. Like I was being so, so, so gentle. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that they maybe tried sanding this and that's why they put this on here and maybe they made the veneer super thin because there's no way I burned through that fast. Dang it. Oh, you know, I'm looking closely. I haven't sanded this. And now, now that I know like what that looks like, I'm looking over here and they definitely did something to this before. I hadn't noticed that before. Ah, okay, plan B. 
which is a good one. It's gonna give me an opportunity to try something I've been wanting to try for a while. I think I'm gonna sand it all down first and I have a new plan. The top of the table is all sanded down and I am ready to try this new method. <laughs> that I don't know if it's gonna be easier for me to try to explain to you guys or just show you guys. I'm thinking just show you. But the general idea is I'm going to do a paint, I'm gonna do a coat of primer, I'm gonna do a coat of a light brownish paint color, and then I'm going to use a clear mixing glaze mixed with a darker shade of brown, and I'm gonna paint it in a way that's going to make it have this wood look, this kind of wood grain. How freaking cool is this? So two months ago, I would say probably about two months ago, I was trying to figure out how to refinish my dining table. And it's a veneer top with an MDF base, so I really don't have a lot of options as far as sanding goes or staining goes, things like that. I don't have a lot of options. Um, and so I was trying a method to try to get um, a, what the color of I want my table to be. I was trying to figure that out. And so I have tons of samples and I was already going through playing all the things. And so I think this little combination that I made up here is going to be perfect. This side here <laughs> is going to be perfect for his dining table. It's exactly the color that I wanted to stain the table to. And since the veneer is trash, we have an opportunity here to try something new, which I am always excited about. So I'm gonna just start taking you guys through how to do this and let's just, fingers crossed, that it works out. I was able to do it on the test piece, so let's see what we can create today. Okay, I know I'm not in frame here for you guys, but I wanted to try to mix up this concoction together. So I have the color here. This is Great Plains Gold. So this is the first coat that I'm gonna go in with and then the second coat um, will be a Hillcrest Tan, which is just a darker shade, a darker version. So this is kind of how you get that layered look. So we started with Natural Linen, now we're gonna do Great Plains Gold and then we also have um, Hillcrest Tan. So. I'm going to try, I don't really know how much I need entirely for the space. Let's try like two and a half and we'll just see how far that gets me. I'm just, I'm just gonna do equal parts. Let's try that. So I'm gonna be using a chip brush, one of these just cheap brushes to apply this. I found that this is the best if you wanna get that wood grain texture painted in there. That's the easiest way to do it. But what I'm gonna do is dip into my paint and then I'm going to dip it onto this foil <laughs> that I have put over a plate. And I'm gonna dip that off of there. You could use a paper plate, I'm just out of them. Um, but you could, I'm just gonna dip this on here to really get all the excess paint off. So I want this to be almost as dry as possible with the paint mixture on it when I go to apply it. So that way it's not applying a bunch of paint and it can just kind of makes it look like that wood grain. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's just go try it out and then we'll see. We're gonna see how this goes. Okay, I wanted to show you guys already how freaking cool is this? Oh my gosh, this is the stuff I love. Totally experimentation and it's working. I think it's gonna look really cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and keep going before it starts drying. The hardest part I think is going to be like, I don't know, stopping and starting and like painting as I go, but that went pretty fast. So I'm gonna try to keep up before it dries. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. show you guys that this was the perfect amount of paint, a little mixture that we did for the top of the table. Look at how awesome. Oh my gosh. 
Isn't it so cool? I cannot believe that this is literally paint. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry completely and then I will do the second um, darker shade on top of that. And then that should be it. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the bottom legs black. <gasps> and we're gonna see it together. Oh my gosh, I am having like the time of my life over here. Just so you guys know, this is so much fun. cure completely overnight so that way I can seal it this morning I actually was on Lowe's website and I was looking at if there was a sealer that was recommended to go with the glaze I didn't find one but I did see that they said on there that it's not recommended for dining tables countertops <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know why it also says it's for use with latex paints um, I don't know do as they say, not as I do. Who cares? It looks absolutely beautiful and I think that this could definitely go down as one of my favorite DIY projects to date because now we know that we can turn any surface, besides countertops, I wouldn't recommend countertops, <laughs> any surface into looking like wood. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it today. I'm gonna be using polycrylic, as usual, my favorite. When I made my um, parents' dining table for their house, I sealed it with this, and listen, a family of like 15 people sitting at that table every single day, three times a day, it held up wonderfully and had no issues with um, like wearing down or anything like that, so I was very impressed to put this product to the test and it like held up beautifully. So I do feel confident in putting it on another dining table. So that's what we're gonna do today and I am just, ah, I love it so much. What's going on? Okay, we ran into a snag that I'm not excited about. <laughs> I went to, so I just did, I did my first coat of the polycrylic on top and in between coats of the ceiling, you're supposed to sand, just lightly sand with 220 grit sandpaper. So I did that and let me show you guys what's happening is it's kind of like any little high spots um, from the primer, it is like taking off and going down to the, the primer. So, oh, so you're getting those little white dots. Yeah, they because I think that they were cover. maybe like a high spot or something like that. So I think the best, if I were going to do this again, I would sand the, like I'd prime and then I would wait for that to dry and then I would sand the primer. So that way it's totally smooth. And I tried something different this time with the primer and I applied primer with a paintbrush. You guys saw me do that because I wanted to start some of the faux wood grain with the primer and I'm thinking that was the wrong decision. But now we know, right? Now we know for the next project. Really the dots are not that noticeable, but of course I'm gonna be like microscopic about my project, right? <laughs> but to anybody who like didn't know it was there, you're not gonna be able to see them. It's gonna be okay, but that's a note. If you're gonna try this, sand that primer smooth first. So I went ahead and just mixed up a another batch of the final color that we did. We're gonna hope this works. Oh my gosh, I mean, that was really like the very last thing that I would have expected to have happen, like I, that was not, not expected. And if you guys have done this before, um, let me know, like what are your tips and tricks? What do you recommend? I would love to know because of course, brand new to this, it's still looking really good. And then once I do this, I'm gonna put on a, a coat of top topper, another coat of the polycrylic, and we're gonna call it a day and we're not gonna sand it again. We're gonna leave it alone. So now I gotta do this again and try, try sanding the primer first and then go through my normal steps and see if it happens again. We're just gonna keep trying it, you know? 
I was out doing some shopping, trying to find some dining chairs for Richard's dining room and something that would complement the table that we just refinished. So I was inspired by these chairs that I found at Lowe's. They're these black wicker chairs. They're actually patio chairs, but I feel like they really could go in either space. They could go indoor or outdoor. I feel like wicker chairs at a dining table is a very, very popular style. So Richard, when I sent him a picture of them, he was like, well, they look like patio chairs, but if you're seeing a vision, I'm gonna trust you. And so when I saw those, I was like, yes, absolutely. That's, those are the perfect style that I wanna do, but they were $65 a piece. So that adds up to like over $250. And I felt like that was just way too expensive. I knew I could do better on the budget. If you guys haven't noticed, we are doing Richard's apartment on a budget. So I decided to go on Wayfair. I found some chairs that were a total dupe, a lot cheaper. Any savings that we can get in the space is a bonus to me. And then I also found a round rug on Wayfair that I'm really excited about. I wanted a round rug under the round dining table. I, that's just what I was seeing, my vision for this space. Round rugs are really hard to come by. My mom and I got really lucky one, one time when we were at Home Goods and we found one there. Um, but that's of course just hit or miss. So the last thing that I'm shopping for in this space is some curtains. So we're gonna head to Home Goods and hopefully we can find some. So the last thing I need for Richard's apartment is some curtains and I've been searching everywhere and sometimes you can just find the perfect thing you need at uh, Home Goods. Perfect curtains. <laughs> the perfect. I think these are gonna work out so good. You wanna show them? Do you wanna model them for us, Mark? Yeah. I mean, you could wear them as curtains or as togas, <laughs> but either way, they're pretty dang spiffy. I think they're great. I love the color. And how much are they? 25 bucks. So cheap for 95 inch curtains. You know what nice curtain says in a bachelor pad? What? It says, ooh, ladies, it's time to move in. <laughs> oh my they're so funny. I think he's really going to like them. They look great, yes. Okay, I finished up Richard's table. I think it looks so beautiful. What do you think of it? <laughs> you gonna model it for us? Yeah. <laughs> it looks it looks really good. It looks and great. I love the faux grain texture that you put on it. I think he's lucky. I don't know any guy that was his age that had a nice table. Like, oh. he's got like the ultimate bachelor. He's got, he's got it going on over there. Yeah, he really does. Do you think the dining room's gonna turn out good? I do, I do, I really do. Me too, I'm excited. So let's get this loaded up, head over there, and put the whole space together. We made it to Richard's and he is not here, which is perfect. <laughs> so hopefully by the time he gets back, he's not working right now, but by the time he gets back, we will have everything set up here and so it will be a little bit of a surprise. So Richard has not seen the table refinished. I haven't sent him any pictures. He does know what the rug looks like, but hasn't seen it in person. I had to like ask him if he approves, you know what I mean? And I think, he, oh, and he hasn't seen the curtains. So all in all, he's gonna have some surprises for sure. We're gonna start by taking these curtains down and putting up the new curtain rods and the curtains. Okay, I love how easy this is. I plugged in this little lamp that I got, hello! This little lamp that I got from Ikea. This lamp is only $10. Can you believe it? 10 bucks, so cute. And I feel like now we have a nice little moment in the corner and the mirror hides the cord behind there. Love it when it's that easy. How beautiful is this rug? Oh my goodness. I wanted this in here because I felt like it would give the room a little bit of color and I think it's perfect. It just has subtle color in it. This is from the Angela Rose and Leloy collaboration that she did with them. Oh, it's just perfect for this space. I wanted some really simple artwork to go in this room just because like I've been telling you guys, it's not super big. And so I went on Etsy. I've done this before. I actually did this similar thing when I did Lacey's nursery. 
Um, I just went on Etsy, found some prints that I liked, got them printed, I sent them to Walgreens or you can send them to FedEx and they usually will print them the same day and I just print them on the poster paper. Um, so this worked out so perfectly so I just picked out, these are so neutral but have a little bit of green kind of color in them. I just love green. I don't know why green feels like his apartment to me, just that color does, but I love these. They were just so simple and pretty and also I liked that it had so much white in the print because anything that I can bring in this room that's gonna have some brightness is gonna help to brighten it up and make it still feel big. So I got those printed and then I went to Walmart and got these really simple frames. These were like $8, they were so cheap. And I loved how thin the frame was because I felt like it matched the style of the mirror that we did in here with the thin frame. So, and if you guys noticed, I did the, ar the arch mirror in here from New Type Chic and then I have the arch mirror in his entryway as well. See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? Matchy, we're, matchy. we're matching, we're coordinating everything together. So, we're gonna get these hung up. to be hung. It does, don't get me wrong, it looks very boho on the floor. It does. It looks very good, but I feel like I know Richard and he's gonna be like, well, why don't we just hang it? <laughs> okay, but I have a reason for wanting it on the floor because it hides the lamp cord right here because there's an outlet um, right there. So that's my reasoning for wanting to keep it on the floor because it conceals You know that. what, you're right, I take it back. We shouldn't put it up. No, I think, I think you should hang it up and let's just see. Just this see. mirror could be like leaning or it could be hung up either way. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. You'd have to come up like even more. Oh yeah, because there's a plug. Right. So does that look good? Well, I actually kind of like it. Oh no, Mark, it's kind of awesome. Hold on, let me stand back. I know it's so heavy. Hold on. Ooh, it kind of brings so much height to the room. Well, let's put it up. <gasps> I love it. Yes, we gotta do it. Do they know the tape method? They, if, if you guys caught Trey, Kaysen, and Braxton's Christmas bedroom, then I did show them the tape method, but in case you miss it, I will show you guys. So what you do is I'm gonna put a piece of tape right at the very top of this. Whoops, thank you. And then get it straight. Hold on, it has to be straight with the whole, with the whole entire um, frame itself. And then you okay. just put a little dot through it. And then I have another sharpie right here. Perfect. So I am going to find that, and I'm gonna poke a hole through it, so I know right where to drill. Perfect. Okay. And then we're gonna transfer this to the wall. To the wall. Get ready, camera. Ooh. It's going on a trip. Oh my goodness. You're taking oh. everybody to the And your battery is almost dead. Oh, no, oh if it dies while we're filming, will it keep the footage? Yes. I don't think so. I think it will. I don't know. Uh, All right. Two anchors in, baby. Okay, it's really on for sure. Yep. Like, I can't. Okay. I may not always be right, <laughs> but I am never wrong. <laughs> no. I, this is a big Sometimes moment. I make you as nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. You do. But, but guess what? I'm promoting you. Holy crow. To lead chief of design. Cheese and rice. There we go. You've been promoted. Nicely done. Chief of design. <laughs> I love it. What's my pay raise on that? <laughs> we'll talk about do it. Do I get five more smooches per day? <laughs> yes, you do. Is that, is that okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're ready. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna let him see it. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, you almost let him peek through the door? Hey. How dare you? Well. Okay, I hope you love it. 
Okay. Welcome well. to your brand new home. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh, this is crazy. All right, are you okay, ready? okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes. I love it. What do you think? Yeah. It's so cool, right? So, I, me and Kyle have been going back and forth, and I keep saying I don't, I can't see the mirror really working out. <laughs> But I kind of see it now. You see it now? Just a little bit. Okay, so it was Mark's idea. He, we originally were going to leave it on the ground, and then he hung it up, and I was like, oh my gosh, it added so much height to it the did. room. A lot. It is like the focal point. The table's fantastic. I, I love the rug, the painting, or the, yeah. The prints that we picked out, yeah. yes. It's great, I love it. It all came together. I love the curtains. <laughs> You finally have privacy. Yay. Yeah. Well, this was like a blast. I'm having so much fun doing your apartment. Are this you? has been like the joy of my I life. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Honestly, if you didn't do this, this probably this room would have stayed like just okay. how it was <laughs> until I moved out. <laughs> so I'm glad you got something out. I think that's true of your living room too. <laughs> <laughs> I would have done something, something with it. You would have had a couch for me. I, I yeah. bet I, he would have had, had a beanbag chair. I probably would have gotten like a little table, okay. but you definitely, you're, you're crushing it. It's, <laughs> thank you. It's making it feel like a home. Right? Yes, cool. very much so. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You're enjoying the transformation so far. Like I said before, if you missed the first video, go and check it out. Thank you for being here, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.